These got us totally stoked. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 movie trailers of 2018. When I stepped in that ring, it wasn't all about me. 2018 has been an absolute roller coaster of a year. I've made a severe and continuous lapse in my judgment. Click the link below to find our best and worst of 2018 videos for a look back at all the awesome and crazy things that happened. For this list, we'll be looking back at the very best movie trailers to have dropped in 2018. Please note that we are judging the quality of the trailers themselves, not the films they were marketing. Holy cow! Look at all this stuff! Number 10, Bohemian Rhapsody. Roger, there's only room in this band for one hysterical queen. Though the film may have divided critics and fans, everyone who saw Bohemian Rhapsody can agree that Rami Malek does an absolutely incredible job as Freddie Mercury. Of course, all doubts regarding his ability to carry the role had already been put to rest the moment that this first trailer dropped. It immediately draws you in and sends shivers down your spine by masterfully blending Queen songs together to spine-shivering effect. Despite a few lines of clunky dialogue, Malik's Mercury inspires faith the moment he appears, and the browsing highlights reel of moments from the band's musical career, including their humble beginnings, leaves you anxious to see more. You're a legend, Fred. We're all legends. Number 9, Creed 2. We got this. You are me? This foreboding trailer tantalized us with the promise that Creed 2 might just cement a new film franchise from the ashes of the old. 2015's Creed film proved that, with Sylvester Stallone's Rocky in his corner, Michael B. Jordan's young Adonis Creed is worthy of carrying the torch. Here we got glimpses of whether he's got what it takes to survive the kind of fight that killed his father. I ain't got a choice. That's the same thing your father said, and he died right here in my hands. The return of Dolph Lundgren is enough to excite any serious fan of the franchise, while the dramatic tone of this trailer, including that atmospheric opening shot, teases a sequel that upped the stakes and the drama. It may not seem like it now, but this is more than just a fight. Number 8, Bumblebee. The Transformers franchise has been a huge financial success, but it has detractors who decry its treatment of the beloved source material and lack of quality character development. For that reason, a prequel spin-off was just about the last thing that most people wanted, until they actually saw this teaser for Bumblebee. Who are you? Tackling a story that appears to take place on a smaller scale, this teaser immediately conveys something lacking from the five films that came before it, a sense of heart. The relationship between everyone's favorite Transformer and Haley Steinfeld's Charlie immediately pulls you in. The feel here is more nostalgic sci-fi adventure in the vein of E.T. than a Michael Bay production. You got people out there who need you. This is why you're here, B. Number 7, Captain Marvel. War is a universal language. I know a renegade soldier when I see one. Not only is Captain Marvel the MCU's first female-led movie, but its hero is also set to be a game-changer. Carol Danvers further opens up the cosmic aspects of the universe, while the introduction of the Skrulls could very well change the history of the MCU as we think we know it. All that to say, this trailer was highly anticipated and upon its arrival, rigorously scrutinized. And wouldn't you know it, the trailer was just about perfect. It starts with a bang and a 90s timestamp, teases a massive but also personal story, balances earthly and cosmic action, and immediately inspires faith in Brie Larson as the MCU's newest heavy hitter. I'm not what you think I am. Number 6, Glass. I specialize in those individuals who believe they are superheroes. After that bombshell twist at the end of 2016 split, we anxiously awaited our first look at the final chapter in this unexpected trilogy. It arrived, and in true M. Night Shyamalan fashion, it wasn't what we had anticipated. Last we saw, the Beast was on the loose and David Dunn was ready to give chase. Beast is coming any minute now for you guys. Now, we're being talked to by the ever-excellent Sarah Paulson, and our trio of villains and a hero are apparently incarcerated in a psychiatric institute of some sort. This is not a cartoon. This is the real world. Though unexpected in its approach, the trailer immediately draws you in and reminds you that this is no conventional action or superhero film. Of course, it also teases plenty of thrills. Are. You. Ready. <laughs> Number 5, Spider-Man, Into the Spider-Verse. Seriously, Dad, 
walking would have been fine. How often can you honestly say, I've never seen a trailer like this before? With Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, Sony brings us an animation style that's difficult to describe, but is wildly unique and absolutely captivating. Producers Phil Lord and Chris Miller reportedly wanted the experience to feel as if you walked inside a comic book, and it certainly looks like they've succeeded. The first teaser, released in December of 2017, piqued our interest, but it wasn't until the first full trailer in June 2018 that we could truly appreciate just how innovative this animation style really is. How am I supposed to save the whole world? You can't think about saving the world. You have to think about saving one person. The story looks rock solid, and we're getting Spider-Gwen? That's how you sell a movie. I'm Gwen Stacy. Come on! How many more spider people are there? Save us at Comic-Con. Number four, Halloween. Hello, Michael. I have something you might like to see. How do you save a long-running franchise from itself? Don't ask us, but this trailer certainly knows a thing or two. David Gordon Green's 2018 Halloween revitalized John Carpenter's iconic franchise, but before we got to see it in full, we were given a reason to hope with this trailer. Do you know that I pray every night that he would escape? What the hell did you do that for? So I can kill him. Setting up the premise of the film, and making clear that it is wiping sequels out of continuity, this trailer focuses on Michael Myers' enduring legacy and status as a boogeyman, while also delivering some scares that surely must have made Carpenter himself smile. Of course, we'd be remiss not to mention the second trailer and its fantastically horrifying opening sequence. Number 3, Deadpool 2. Ah! Woo! Oh, I shit my pants. Actually, that may have been me. Like only a Deadpool trailer can, this little slice of R-rated cinematic heaven kicks off with air supplies I'm all out of love. The message is loud and clear. Though he's now riding with a new director and a noticeably bigger budget, this is the same old Merc with a mouth. Blood flies, severed heads roll, and not safe for work language and witticisms abound. Then, Cable shows up, and the grim and gritty quotient goes way up. My name's Cable. I'm here for the kid. This trailer also sees DP hilariously assemble a team of superheroes, but, well, let's just say they don't get too attached. The trailer aims to entertain and provoke, and it does both spectacularly. We will be known as X-Force. Isn't that a little derivative? You're absolutely right. Number two, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. The mass extinction we feared has already begun. We're gonna level with you. We actually kind of resent this trailer. Why? Because a film has no right dropping something this epic and enticing a full nine months before its release date. It begins with everyone's favorite young star, Millie Bobby Brown, looking out over a rooftop as some seriously ominous narration courtesy of Vera Farmiga sets up the film's premise. A number of colossal creatures are briefly teased, and these visuals, accompanied by a reworking of Claude Debussy's Claire de Lune, makes for a viewing experience that is simultaneously majestic and kind of terrifying. Of course, this trailer also reminds us of the astounding ensemble cast they've assembled. Long live the king. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. What's not on your wall? What do you do with those people? Mom? I don't like this. Dad, I don't like this. What's happening? Hey, what'd I miss? We were just tiny! Those woods belong to something else. Elastigirl is our best play. Better than... Me? <clears throat> Number one, Avengers Infinity War. The entire time I knew him, he only ever had one goal. An alternate subtitle for this trailer? Shut up and take our money. Avengers Infinity War was an unprecedented moment in cinematic history. Given that the MCU had been building towards it for 10 years, the studio easily could have forgone trailers altogether and still filled theaters. But they didn't, and for this, we are thankful. The first official trailer for Infinity War was wonderfully dramatic and undeniably chill-inducing, but it also felt a bit like a teaser. The second trailer really hammered home the massive scale and stakes of this film, showing us firsthand just how massive the battles and set pieces would be. It also just had some really great character moments. I hope they remember you.
Of course, Disney and Marvel couldn't let 2018 fade out without dropping a trailer for the next chapter in the saga, Avengers Endgame, leaving us all to wonder what's to come after the epic Infinity War cliffhanger. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.